And you can see I have right here 29,659 different apps, different YouTube channels, different websites that I've paid to have my ads clicked on. And if you're not paying attention to this, you can waste a ton of money. Hey guys, this is Todd with subjectmoney.com and I'm quickly going to show you how to audit your ad placements in Google Ads and create new exclusions. And this is an audit that you should be doing, if not every day, at least once a week in your Google Ads campaigns. I'm going to search for my display campaign. Now you do need to also create exclusions in your performance max, but what we're doing is we're gonna wanna see where our ads have been placed already. So we're going into our display campaign and now we're gonna click on content in the sidebar, go down to placements, click on placements, and then you're gonna say here, it says see where your ads have appeared, click on see where your ads have appeared. And now here you have a long list of all the places where your ads have been seen. All right, so you can see my time range is from January 2021 to March 2023. Typically, you are not gonna wanna be going back this far because you should be doing this every single week and that, therefore, that's gonna be unnecessary. But if you're just starting out, this is gonna be one of the reasons why you should do this every week because you're gonna see the two years of ad placement, trying to go through and just sift through all of those and create exclusions is gonna be a very tedious, time-consuming, monotonous task that could take you several days. And that's why you need to be doing this every day. All right, so here's our list. We're gonna go through and see where our ads have been placed and we want to audit this list. So we're going down the list. I'm just kind of inspecting the names, Pandora, I know what that is. I think that's a good app. I think that's fine having our ads placed on Pandora or a breaking news app. Now here's one, it says Happy Color Coloring Book. That sounds like something that my children might use. Um, I might give them my phone while we're, we're at dinner and I might let them play on this app. Let's click and see what it is. So you can click and you can start exploring what the app actually is. And as I suspected, it looks like something that's more designed for children. Um, so I don't think that somebody for the most part who's gonna spend on a new roof is going to be on that app. But you know what? Let's go look over here and see how much money I've wasted. So I've paid for 298 clicks for a cost of $25.33. All right, so I've wasted $25. That's $25 just on this single app alone that has been wasted. And that's why it's so important that you get in here and you make sure your ads are being placed on the uh, proper apps, websites, or YouTube channels. So I'm gonna click on that app and I'm gonna start adding it to my list. And eventually I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna add those to uh, create an exclusion within the campaign. All right, so let me just continue scrolling down. This is what you're gonna need to do. Here's another app, mobile app, My Talking Tom. Let's go check this app out, see what that is. All right, it, again, it looks like something more designed for children. I don't think somebody that's gonna be buying a roof is gonna be on this app. I'm looking over here, $75.68 is what we spent for probably some kids just to click on that ad. And as we go down, we can see all the different apps. Again, here's another like art coloring. Um, you know, I may potentially get a customer from there, so it's not completely wasted, but I think for the most part, I'm wasting my money and my cost per conversion is gonna be high. And what you wanna do, you just wanna keep going down through this list and you wanna read the title or the name of the app and just start inspecting clicking on them and checking them out here's another color by number and again it's just another app similar to the last one i mean this is two years so let me get down to the bottom and you can see i have right here 29,659 different apps different youtube channels different websites that i've paid to have my ads clicked on and if you're not paying attention to this, you can waste a ton of money. Okay, so why do you have to do it every week? Again, look down here, 29,659. I've got a task in front of me. I've got to go through 29,659 different apps and websites and YouTube channels. It sounds to me like it's nearly impossible. If I were doing this every week and just going through a few hundred and it was something that I do every day, you know, now I'm really building my exclusions brick by brick instead of trying to do it overnight because I didn't do this on a regular basis. So you need to audit your ad placement every day and create new exclusions 
every single day or else you're going to have the task at hand that I have right now with 29,000, and I don't really have this, but 29,659 different placements. Now, in all reality, I do audit my ad placement. So probably 28,000 of those placements are good, but there are some very obscure apps and you're just never going to get to it. So if I were to sort it by the least amount of impressions, you're gonna see some very obscure apps that you're just not, you're never going to be able to completely exclude them all. So here I'm going, I'm casting a broad net and I'm willing to waste some money in hopes of getting leads from maybe one of these obscure apps. You are able to target placement to only the YouTube channels, only the apps, and only the websites that you want to see. But you do risk also excluding a lot of good um, apps, websites, and YouTube channels that you don't know about. And I've found that my cost per conversion is actually lower um, when I go after those more like more obscure apps or, or even like the longer tail keywords, but you really just have to know what you're doing and you have to pay attention. Okay. So once you do have the placements selected that you want to add to your exclusions, you just go up here to the edit button and then you select exclude from campaign. You can also exclude for, from, uh, for the ad group if you want for any reason, but usually it's going to be the campaign that you want them to be excluded from. So if you want to see, how to exclude like kids channels from your display campaigns and you want to get a large list you don't have a large list like this has cost me thousands of dollars to obtain this list it's not something that you can just get you get this kind of list from having a mature google ads account if you want a list check out my video i have um, a list of eight thousand different youtube channels that were made just for kids like cocomelon that you can exclude from your ads campaigns i have the video showing you how to do that so just check out that video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel all right i appreciate it for watching and uh thank you guys